Hey, you guys want to know how I feel about Thunderfoot? Stay tuned, I'll tell you. I want to start off this video by telling, as I drop my pen, uh, you guys that uh, <clears throat> I think I've made it back to 100%. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, sorry I haven't been around making a video every day like I usually do, but, you know, whatever. I'm back. And better than ever, I guess. Um, this speech, as I, as I wrote it, um, it started to sound a lot like a like a Brian Williams report on uh, NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams so I decided to run I decided to run with it <clears throat> so uh, all right all right here, here we are the Thunderfoot discussion seems to be getting rather heated split mixed emotions seem to be floating around here some people saying fuck religion a sentiment that I particularly subscribe to they say that nothing is sacred, and with the first annual Draw Muhammad Day less than 24 hours from now, the world holds its breath in anticipation of a lot of insulting, mean-spirited cartoons and caricatures, all in the name of freedom of speech. And, and while I like the idea of blanket-arching an entire people... Drawing Muhammad has become old hat, commonplace even. You know, I wouldn't mind you hurting the feelings of every Muslim out there if your approach was just a little bit more original. Many of Thunderfoot's opponents accuse him of generalizing, which, again, I totally understand. Because, well... I judge a lot of people every day and the only way for me to be able to get through my inbox is through generalization I mean stereotypes are there for a reason uh, another criticism of Thunderfoot is that he's turning his audience the audience that he has left into the very thing that they oppose fanatics now, I do want to caution Thunderfoot here. Um, unless you intend to turn your listeners to a blind fanaticism, then uh, you might want to take a different approach. Blind fanaticism pretty much sums things up as we turn our attention to the coughlin Condell conundrum. The outrage against censorship and extremism continues to pour out as more and more of Coughlin's videos are being taken down due to false copyright claims. Still no response from atheist Pope Pat Condell I. So, here we have these two atheists who have turned their following into fanatical supporters, one of the tenets of Pat Condell's arguments, and as he claims, Thunderfoot's opponents. Now, unless this was their respective intentions the entire time, we, the atheist, no, not even just the atheist community, but the YouTube community, is owed an explanation. And while Thunderfoot's latest videos each seem to be just another march in the campaign against Islam, Condell has yet to respond to his shitstorm, hiding from the weight of the responsibility of his words. I've been all his valor, and how's that for criticism? Fuckers.